What a made a fifth that is. Now, a couple of weeks ago, um, if you remember rightly, I had Trevor Beatty in the studio, and we were talking about what we could do. What prize could we... What, sorry, what, what competition could we have for a fantastic prize? I'll get, I'll get the prize up in a second. OK, but a competition to win this fantastic picture, value £8,000. The competition was quite simple. You had to send to me at bunts at boxnation.com or via my Twitter, which is at Big Daddy Bunts, a simple poem that Muhammad Ali, there we go, there's the details. That was a bit quick, wasn't it? Um, maybe, people are only, maybe people are watching really fast, I don't know. Anyway, you had to send to me a simple poem that Muhammad Ali would write if he was matched against a Klitschko. OK, now I'll read out a couple of the bits of poems that have come in recently. This is from Martin Jones in Murphy Tidville, OK? This is, this is not his whole poem, it's a little bit of it. He says, I hear you speak four languages, but I've heard it all before. Because I've beat Liston Smoking Joe and put Foreman on the floor. I think that's great. And then this one is from Simon Mahoney down in Kent. It's only a little bit of what he does. He says, they have no speed for my kind of show. They're more like R2-D2 and C-3PO. I think that's great as well. And this one's from Callum Ogilvy up in Scotland. He says, those faceless robots from Ukraine will soon be in a world of pain. Were they created in a lab? Because all they do is jab, jab, jab. I quite like that. And then he says, I cannot tell one. This is beautiful. You're going to love this line. I cannot tell one from another. Is Ivan Drago their older brother. If so, then eight is all I'll need to avenge the death of Apollo Creed. I'm telling you, that's, I tell you what, Callum, you're in the mix, brother. Right, could I have that picture, please? Here's the prize, thanks very much, that's been handed to me. Now, here's the prize. It's a picture, it's a limited edition photo of the gloves owned by Trevor Beatty. These are the gloves that Muhammad Ali wore when he fought Henry Cooper and he was dropped. And he got up and Dundee found a little tear, manipulated the tear, gained Ali some valuable seconds. Not that many. Turns out to be about six, but don't tell Henry Cooper or his estate that because the, the myth was that it was about two minutes. It wasn't. It was six seconds. Doesn't take anything away from what was a great fight. And what's happened, if you can see just there, is that the gloves, that they did a tour, really. They went to a prison. They, they lived in a bookmaker's for a while. They were in a gym, the Thomas and Beckett, for a while. And hundreds and probably thousands of people have just ripped that tear a little bit more. So the little tear that Dundee, Ange talks about, and I did sit with Ange discussing it on several, several different continents, in fact. That little tear has been manipulated and opened to reveal that big gaping wound. So that's the prize, valued at £8,000. Keep the poems coming in. But, you know, you can send... Here we go, take that, Steph. Thanks very much. She's a good girl. Anyway, no, she's a lovely girl. But we've, we've also got, I, I, I do take normal emails, not just poems. And that's, again, bunts at boxnation.com or you can tweet me at Big Daddy Bunts. Now, this one came in and I just thought I wanted to share it with you. Have a look at this. This came in from my new friend in Prague. He says, hi, dude, what's the crack? I come from Prague, actually, but F that. You are very funny. I like that. Where you come from? Thanks, Ollie. Now, I do love that. And, I'm, and I must admit, I do have my moments. I'm not quite sure I'm very fanny. Just a little bit fanny. <laughs> All right, listen. On Friday night, we've got a fantastic night of boxing. We are going to have Felix Sturm against Sebastian Zibik. But the main event, live from 6.30. From the York Hall in dear old Bethnal Green, it's the ABA 2012 Elite Finals. It's a big night, all the way from light fly up to super heavy. It's a brilliant lineup, even if I may say so myself. It's a delight to welcome here into the studio from just up the road. He boxes for the All Stars Club, a club that was set up by an old friend of mine, Mr. Akai Izola, many, many, many years ago. It's a delight to welcome to the show Kelvin Farrace. Kelvin! That's not bad. That's all right, yeah. Now, Kelv, uh, thanks for coming in. You're in a 71 kilo. Final against a guy from Wellington up in Middlesbrough. Yeah. Um, Kevin, let me let me ask you this: How many times have you boxed so far in the ABAs? Um, I think it was six, seven times. Six or seven. Yeah. Now, now you're on some sort of mad, unbeaten sequence, aren't you? Since losing in last year's ABAs, what is that sequence again? What is it? How many bouts? It about 
almost over 20 bouts now. 20 bouts or over 20 bouts. And is that because you were so upset when you were losing last year? Yeah, to Tom Baker. So he was a good fighter, by the way. He lost in the finals. He's a good fighter. Tom. The point is, if I had 30 seconds, I would have put him on his ass. So you needed what in the last? I only needed the... 30 seconds. That's all you needed. So you got you were robbed because you didn't have that extra time. I mean, but they, you, the... but but because what what you what I might argue is, well, perhaps you should have started 30 seconds earlier. Then you yeah. wouldn't have needed 30 seconds at the end. That's true. That's true. That's really true. That's really true. That's really true. I started late. I started late. That's the oh. whole point, you know. And after that, I kind of found. The concept of boxing, I, I understood boxing, I, I knew what to do, I knew what I needed to do and I knew what I did wrong. And ever since I've, you know, picked and choose everything I needed to do and I haven't lost since then. And, is it, and, is, and, and all of those bouts have been three threes as well, so you're getting, three threes. You, yeah, so you're getting used to that. Did, did you ever box a four twos or that slightly before your time? About two days ago I went to David Hayes' gym and yeah. I booked the prize fighter champion and we done... I'm um, three six. Oh really? And believe me, I tell you, he didn't even touch me in one this round. This is Robert Lloyd, uh, Robert Lloyd, whatever his name is. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know his name, but you know. Oh, that's good. Yeah, but I won the whole six rounds. So have you been floating around different gyms, picking up different bits and pieces? To be honest, yeah. um, since I since the AVA started, everything just went sky high. Yeah. Yeah, but I've, I haven't been going anywhere lately. It's just since the AVA started, just, everything has just been going. It's I've just going ABAs everywhere. for you. Yeah. Yeah, ABA is doing and and the Haringey box cup last year. Yeah, oh, yeah. I know you went in there. Now let let me ask you this: You've got an interest. I'm not sure if interest is the right word, but you you you're from Nigeria originally. Is that correct? Yeah, I'm from Nigeria. I came from Nigeria. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you came from Nigeria. But you 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 lost your parents. You came I lost home. my mum. You lost came, my dad. You came here on. You came to Britain on your own or yeah. with a with family or. Yep, and there's a long story, depressing story, by the way. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Depressing well, story. Well, hey, listen, we don't mind the Just give us a little bit because it's, it's turning out well now. You're in the AK okay. finals. You're on my show. Give me, give me okay, a small, give me a small you. summary of, okay. of your life. I yep. came here when I was 13 and on getting here, I was taken to a house where I had to, you know, clean the house for them. I had to do everything for them. Mm. And I asked them, can I go to school? And they said, no, you can't. You have to stay here and so do they everything. they wouldn't even let you get they education? Wouldn't even let me, yeah, they wouldn't let me go to school. And the children was going to school. So I was in the house cleaning and cooking. And so everything. you're a slave? You can put it that way. Yeah, I have. I just have, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's good, that's good. Yeah, so basically, yeah, that's what happened. And then I got out of the house, ran out, and then a man pointed me to the social services. Yeah. And I ran there. And ever since, I've been supported by the social services. But since last year, I've been on my own, and I'm not allowed to work. I'm not allowed to do anything. And I'm basically not claiming no benefits. So I'm just surviving on my own self. All right. And you're not on any funding, obviously, yet. No funding, no nothing, okay. no fundraising. Have you been up to the GB squad at all yet? I've got a, I got a card from Keith Waters. He said that I should give him a call, but I haven't. Cool. I'm just hoping to, wait you know... Wait till the ABAs are out. Yeah, right? that's what I want to do. I want to wait till all the right. ABAs are over, then he would know... Well, listen, I, I have there. a feeling that was a short version, Kelvin. You stay there because I want to speak to no, another well, kid. Kelvin, before I let you go, and it's been a, thanks for coming in, mate, because I know no you've problem. actually you come from training or you're going training afterwards. I just came from training that's, straight from here. That's great. Now, now, you do a punch. Now, I can't let you show it me here because we haven't got enough room, but you I'm do a Superman punch. If, don't I, you? if I do it here, the whole table is going to be. No, we're not having. Don't, don't wreck my table. This is precious. <laughs> Look at this. That's thing. why I can't do it here. I've, you know, I can't. I've had this since Satanta in 2007. Jeez, I've had this longer than I've had pets. Okay. Let's maintain. But you do this, what, tell me about this punch you do. The Hercules punch? Yeah, the Hercules or Superman punch, whatever it's called. What is it? Show I'm me. the only person that established that. Well, now here. you jump up in the air, yeah? Yeah, kind of. You, 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 can, you can go forward, slip to the right, and then jump and come back to the left. Okay. Or you can do it straight forward. And if it hits them, they're going down. Yeah. If you watch the, the last fight the, against you, the... You, you know my only problem with you, Kelv, is you're a little bit short of confidence, all right? <laughs> Are you, sure Are you sure about Listen, that? Are you sure about that? Listen, I tell you what, Kelvin Fares, what a nice kid. He's coming to the studio. Let's have a little bit of a clap for Kelvin. Kelvin, thanks very much. We'll see you on Friday night. And in the final, you will be taking on Lewis Cunningham from Wellington. John Pierce used to run that club. It's a good club, and that means he'll be a good fight. That'll be a, a super fight. But that's not, the, um, that's not the only fight coming up at the weekend. There we go. Well, this is the weekend after. Martin, Emmanuel Marquez, Jorge Fedjenko, and then Brandon Rios, Richard Abriel. Those are on Saturday the 14th through the night. But I think we might even have a Sturm promo somewhere. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe. Let's do that. I tell you, this is, this is the other fight. We've got the ABA finals on Friday night, and we've also got this. And you know what? This guy, Sturm, people give him stick, but you know what? He comes through fights. I like him. Take a look at this. 
Ich meine, im Ring zählt nicht eine große Schnauze, im Ring zählen nur Fakten und Ergebnisse. Das ist einfach mal ein Zeichen, dass Felix sehr dünnhäutig ist und nicht mit Kritik umgehen kann. Wie hast du deinen Titel gewonnen? Gegen wen? Und gegen Fisch, oder? Du solltest dich mal ein bisschen ruhiger verhalten. Ich bin vorbereitet, egal was kommt. Ich hatte in einem Jahr mehr Titelverteilung als du in deiner ganzen Karriere. Felix, ich werde dich pulverisieren. Dein Wille wird brechen wie Glas.